Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, teacher. And how are you? Are you going to rest tomorrow? Yes. Van a descansar mañana. Are you going to rest? To go sleep tomorrow, all day. Or are you going to, to travel? Or work? No. Yes. Tiene algún plan ahí ya para mañana? Hi, Christian. So no plans for tomorrow. Okay. So, vamos directo al grano. Pues ya que no le quieren contar qué van a hacer mañana. Let's check the homework. Okay, you have to do two questions. Okay, one yes no question and one uh, double edge question. Let us start with the yes no questions. Okay, give me your question and your answer. Okay, Christian, you will be the first. Give me your question, the yes no question. Sí, hizo la tarea, ¿verdad? Hizo la tarea. The homework. Se corta. Y los demás, can you listen well? Se escucha cortado, teacher. Really? Para mí no. Hello, hello. Can you listen? Yes, teacher. ¿Me escuchan? No. Sí. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's check the homework. Give me your examples with yes, no questions. Your question and the answer. Uh, teacher, do I need a dictionary? Yes, you do. Okay, excellent. Next. Do you work in your house? Yes, I do. Do you work? Okay, do you work in your house? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you work? Okay. Next. Give me more examples. Don't be shy. Hi, 
No more examples. Lidia, Edwin, Liliana, Catherine, Wilfredo. No hicieron la tarea. Okay, let's move to the double H questions. Vamos a ver entonces las double H questions. Does she live in Sonsonate? Okay, no, she don't. Okay, Lilian. Yes. Okay, double H questions. No tienen ejemplos. What is your last name? Teacher. Yes. Or other example. Uh, do you speak English? Yes, I do. Uh, your answer negative? No, I don't. Okay. Y ahora con double H questions, con preguntas abiertas. ¿Se acuerdan que vimos de dos tipos? Bueno, medio vimos. When does your sister go to work? When, repeat please, Lidia, Linda. When does your sister go to work? Okay, excellent. When does your sister go to work? And the answer? La respuesta. She does work in the morning. She eh, sería when. When she goes, podría ser she goes to work in the morning, ok o she works in the morning ok, more more examples and another example uh, is um, um, do you rest early and what time do you rest okay. questions Okay, do you, do you sleep, Podrías. do you rest, okay, do you rest, do you sleep early? Do you sleep, do you sleep early, okay, yes, mm -hmm. I sleep early. Okay, y la otra que me dijo? What, what time, time do you, what time do you rest or do you what sleep? What time do you rest, okay, what, or what time do you sleep, okay. I sleep at 10 p.m. Okay, excellent. Yes. Thank you, Wilfredo. Okay, more examples. For example, uh, when is your birthday? My birthday is September 24th. Okay, excellent. Yes. Okay, two more, two more examples, and then we, we continue. No more examples. Okay. Son de pocas palabras. Well, today... We have some exercises on the platform that were missing yesterday. Okay, this is for questions. We have to order 
the the questions. Okay, so you are going to tell me the complete question. Okay, we are going to start with Jasmine. Okay, Jasmine, give me question number two, please. Um, do, uh, um, number one. Number two. Two, number, uh, number two, uh, number two, uh, number two, and uh, number two is do you no, pardon, what? Yeah. Uh -huh. What? Uh -huh. What do you uh, do you time? What time? What time? What time? What time? Eat lunch. Okay, eat yes. Lunch. What time do you eat lunch? Okay, number three. Jonathan. Okay. There was Wilfredo? Ah, oh, okay. Uh, number three. Um, uh, the answer is now this class starts at nine o'clock. Okay. Um, and the question. Um, does. Okay. Um, this class. Yeah. Uh, at eight o'clock. Does this class? This class. Podría el verbo. Okay. S start. Start. Okay. Okay. Uh, at eight o'clock. Yes. Okay, number four, Christian. Okay. Um, I study English in the evening. So, when do you study English? When do you study English? Okay. Number five. Lydia. Good evening. Hello, Lydia. Do you and your friends play sport on weekend? Okay, excellent. Do you and your friends play sports on weekends? Excellent. Okay, great. And then we have a reading. Okay, we have a reading. Hi, and sequencing events. After reading and discussing three interviews about schedules. Reading, what's your schedule like? Student reporter Mike Starr talks to people on the street about their schedules. Brittany Davis, college student. What's your schedule like? Can you listen? Yes. Can you listen? The reading? Yes. Okay. 
My classes start at 8 a.m., so I get up at 7 and take the bus to school. When do your classes end? They end at noon. Then I have a job at the library. So, when do you study? My only time to study is in the evening, from 8 until midnight. Joshua Burns, Website Designer. What's your schedule like? Well, I get up at 6.30 a.m. and go for a run before breakfast. How do you go to work? I work at home. I start work at 8. Around 1, I take a lunch break. How late do you work? Sometimes I work all night to finish a project. Maya Black, Rock Musician. What's your schedule like? I work at night. I go to work at 10 p.m. and I play until 3 a.m. What do you do after work? I have dinner. Then I take a taxi home. What time do you go to bed? I go to bed at 5 in the morning. And then we have the questions. Okay. We have the first example. Okay, the, the routines are already ordered. Okay, number one is about Brittany. Okay, she gets up. Number two, she takes the bus. Number three, she goes to class. Number four, she works. And number five, what? she studies. Okay, now about Joshua. Okay, which is the number one? What does he do first? Number one, ¿cuál sería? De todas las que tenemos aquí. He has breakfast, he starts work, he eats dinner. I guess, um, oh, no, no sé si... Tengo una duda donde dice he, no sé si es he get up o Ajá, y ahí dice si yes. get up. Ajá, es cierto, está al revés. He gets up. Yes, esa sería la number one. He gets okay. up. Number two. Um, uh, uh, the correr. Um, uh, he goes for, for a run. He goes for a run. Okay, number yes. three. He has a breakfast. Okay. Yes. Four. He starts work. He starts work. And number five. He eats dinner. He eats dinner. Okay. Then we have the rock star, Maya Black. Number La one. Musico de rock. Yes. She goes, she to, goes work. to work. She goes to work. Okay. Number she two. She finishes work. She finishes. She finishes work. Number three. She has dinner. She has dinner. Number four. She, she works goes home. home. She goes home. And five. She goes, she to, goes bed. to bed. She goes to bed. Okay. Excellent. Okay, they are correct. I stand. Okay, that's the end of the section, section one. But yeah. let's see this part about um sequence words. If the sequence words are used when you talk about routines, okay, y como recuerdan que estamos hablando 
acerca del simple present, siempre, ¿verdad? Que también se utiliza para hablar de rutinas. Que also the sequence word. Que when you are saying or explain the things you do in a certain order, que you can use sequence words. Y esto también le, bueno, le ayuda para dos cosas. Primero, se, se escucha mejor, ¿verdad? When you use sequence words. Y segundo, da como la pauta de en qué orden o en qué parte del desarrollo de su rutina usted va. So, obviously, you are going to use a sequence word from the beginning, al inicio. Vamos a, puede ser cualquiera de estos. ¿verdad? Hay algunos que, que pegan más que otros. Por ejemplo, I can say, to start my day, I get up. Ok, to start. O puedo decir, por ejemplo, to begin my day, or first of all, I get up. Ok, puedo usar cualquiera de estos para decir o para iniciar, para decir la primera cosa que yo hago de mi rutina. Luego vamos a utilizar de las que están in the middle. Um, en el orden en el que están aquí, es en el orden en las que se usan. Entonces, digamos que um, no puedo decir yo primero next y después eh, then, sino que, o oh, no puedo decir primero next y después later, sino que van siempre respetando este orden que está aquí. Entonces, por ejemplo, I can say then, después puedo decir after that, later, next, before, eh, y así. So, eh, to start my day, I get up. Then, I take a shower. Okay, after that, I get dressed. Next, I have my breakfast. Okay, y puedo, digamos, eh, para cerrar mi rutina, okay, I'm going to pick one ending sequence word. Okay, and at last, I go to work. Okay, y digamos ahí, Termino my morning routine. Para el caso de estas que dicen interruption, estas se van a utilizar solamente if you are telling a story. Si usted está contando algo que le pasó, eh, si está contando cómo ocurrieron las cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí sí vamos a incluir estas que dicen interruption, pero para el caso de las rutinas, solo vamos a utilizar beginning, middle, and end. Yes? It's clear this part. Mm -hmm. Can you uh, give me an example of your routine, your morning routine, using sequence word? Uh, later is después, luego, y next is consiguiente. Sí. Okay. Okay, examples. Who wants to share uh, his or her routine? Um. Nobody. A ver. Edwin. Okay, Edwin. Una Can you talk about your routine? routine? Uh, daily routine is in the in the morning. Uh, I start with get up <clears throat> at seven a.m. and then I take the bus to the job. Uh, beginning in the job to the nine a.m. Then in the take a lunch at one 
PM. And finally, get back to the home at 6 PM. Excellent. Thank you, Elvin. Okay, algo que también tienen que recordar es que solo pueden usar un sequence adverb once. Solamente se puede utilizar una vez. Luego, por ejemplo, si ya utilizaron later, ya no lo pueden volver a utilizar en el siguiente. Y sino que tienen que utilizar otro. Entonces, eh, later y después next. Ok, y después y, y así. No, no podemos como repetir. Ok, good. One more. Uno más. Uh, um, yes. Um, our time. Vamos a ver si podemos hacer algo por aquí siguiendo el ejemplo. Sería entonces. Um, first, I grab at 6 a.m. And a later, uh, take a shower. And Um, um, next or before next eat breakfast then go go to work and Y para el ending, para el cierre. Oh. Um. Ending. De las que I son... have dinner. Um, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Okay, puede ser at the end. At the end of the day, I have dinner at 7 p.m. Ok, eh, traten de practicar más y pueden hacer eh, su rutina e incluyan estos, estos frequency words. ¿Qué okay, questions about this? No. Okay, so let's move to section two. Okay, the next section is, uh, does it have a view? Okay, esa sería la el nombre de la siguiente sección, que sería section two. And we're going to start with the vocabulary words related to house and apartment. Okay, the rooms that we have in the house and also some objects that you can find there. Okay. Here. Okay, we are going to label the pictures. Okay, what about this part of the house? One of the most important. Bathroom. Bathroom, correct. Okay. Bathroom. Wait. Okay, this one, the place in which you rest. Bedroom. Bed bedroom, correct. Okay, bedroom. Wait. This a specific part of the house. 
You can open and close. Window. 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 Yes, window. Window. Okay. This part in which you prepared your food. Kitchen. 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 Correct. Kitchen. And then the room, what is the name of the room? Of the room. Living room, chef. Living room. Living room. No, yeah. this dining room. Acuérdense de dinner, okay? Sería dining room, the dining room. But this object, the object that we have in the dining room. What? Chair. 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 Okay. Chair. 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 Okay, next. This one. Este aparece en el manual. Okay, how do we call this part? Laundry room. The laundry room, correct. The laundry room. Okay, we're going to write it here. Okay. Mm, then we have here. Living room. Yes, correct. That's the living room. Okay, this part, this object. Table. Table. Okay, coffee table. And this, if you want to go up or down. Stairs. 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 Okay. Stairs. Stairs. Okay. The object. Okay. You need to pass the door. The door. You need to pass the door to enter to the house. Okay. Correct. Then when you put your cars. Garage. 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 Okay. Garage. And the in the outside of the house we have out of the house. Afuera de la casa. What can we have? Garden. A garden. Correct. Flowers. A garden. But the, the place, it's guard. Roof. And here we have the roof. Roof. And the uh, time Chinese. Chimney. A chimney. Chimney, correct. Chimney. Yes. Chimney, yes. Okay, questions about this part? No, no questions. It's here. London room is este cuarto de lavado. Yes. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, let's continue. Okay, 
Then we have a conversation. Okay, my new apartment. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll listen in houses and, and repeating. House. The house has two floors, a garage, and a yard. The first floor has a living room, a dining room, a kitchen, a laundry room, and stairs to the second floor. The second floor has a hall, three bedrooms, and a bathroom. Every bedroom has a closet. Apartment. The apartment building has a lobby and an elevator. Every apartment has a living room, a kitchen, a dining room, a bedroom, a bathroom, and a closet. Now it's your turn to practice the vocabulary that we just heard. I would like for you to describe. Está silenciado su micrófono. Sí, so we have two differences uh, between the house and an apartment. Two parts that the apartment has, but the house doesn't have. Which rooms are, are those? They have a lot of similarities, but what the apartment what what parts the apartment has and the house does. Bedroom. But we have bedroom. in the apartment and in the house. But the apartment has something that the house does it. Uh, lobby. The lobby and the other? Yard. Elevator. Correct. In, the, in a house, we don't need an elevator. But in an apartment, in general, yes, we do. Okay, excellent. And the clock? The? Closet. The, the closet, but we can have a closet in an apartment or in a house. In both. Aquí está también. Closet. Okay. Okay. Garage. The garage. Okay. The garage. We have a garage in the house. But in an apartment, sometimes we don't have. Right? Um, the, the apartment have not a yard. Uh -huh, okay, yes, a yard. Not a yard. Yes, correct. Here's the floor. The? Here's the floor. Oh. Yard, garden. floor. First well, and second floor. In an apartment, in an apartment building, que sería todo el edificio, in an apartment building, yes, they have different floors. Okay, they can have 10, 4, 8 floors. Well, here in El Salvador, only the new, the new apartments. Okay, they has, I don't know, like seven or 10 floors. Hi, apartment. 
This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's listen and practice. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What's it like? It's really beautiful. Is it very big? Well, it has a big living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a kitchen. Where is it? On Lakeview Drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Now let's try to understand. Say to volunteers to read the conversation. Excuse me? Volunteers. Ah, I Okay, Wilfredo and Catherine. Okay. What was I having your apartment? That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. It is very right. Very long. This is very where big. Uh, where he is a well living room is my bedroom to buy room a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, living drive. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, a dude, a grant with all oh, another app on my woundings. Okay, thank you. Okay, building, building, apartment building. And next, Liliana and Jacqueline. Inicio yo. Yes. Okay. Guess what? I have a new apartment. That's great. What is like? It's really beautiful. It is very big. Well, it has a big living room, uh, a small bedroom, bedroom, a uh, bathroom, and uh, at a kitchen. Where is it? Oh, like be it right. Oh, nice. Does it have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another um apartment uh -huh. building. Apartment building. Okay, thank you. Okay, view, view. Okay, view is when you see through the window, okay, you can see a view of view. the place or uh, something beautiful, okay, that's a view. Okay, questions about words here in the conversation? Building. Building es el edificio. That's the building. Apartment building. El edificio donde están los apartamentos. The, like. In like, a, like view. ¿Qué significa, teacher? Like view. Like view is the name of, of the place. Pero por eso él le dice, ah, oh nice, cuando le dice on Lake View Drive, oh nice, does it have a view? Because supposedly uh, for the name Lake View, tendría que tener una view al lago, ¿verdad? Por eso es que le pregunta eso. Pero es el nombre del, del lugar. Ok. Ok. The last two volunteers. Ok, 
Okay, Christian and Jasmine. Okay, go. Yes, but I have a new appointment. That's great. What it's like? It's really beautiful. It's very big. Wow, it has a by a living room, a small bedroom, a bathroom, and a chicken. Where is it? Oh, like you dry. Oh, nice. Does it yeah. have a view? Yes, it does. It has a great view of another apartment building. Building. Correct. Okay. It's building. Building. And kitchen. Kitchen and big, big. Okay. So let's move. Then we have simple present short answers. Okay, this is the same that we already practiced. Ya estuvimos viendo las yes no questions, que serían esas que tenemos aquí. Do you live in an apartment? Does Chris live in a house? Do the bedrooms have windows? Does the house have a yard? In which the answers can only be yes or no. Y como les había comentado, in your answer, you have to use the same auxiliary verb. Así que if in the question you use do, okay, in the answer you have to use do also. Do you live? Yes, I do. Or no, I don't. Um, en este caso también en inglés most of the time um, we use the contraction form. Es como bien raro, o casi no es muy común, que se utilice la forma completa de no, I do not. It's rare. Most of the time, uh, people use the contraction form. Okay, no, he does. Es, que es muy raro que alguien responda, no, he does not. Okay, digamos que no es que no se pueda, pero no es como lo común, por decirlo así. And also you can, you have to use the same uh, subject. Okay, si decimos Chris, es un masculino, tercera persona, ¿verdad? Entonces en mi respuesta eh, voy a usar el pronombre que corresponde para Chris. Okay, clear this part. No yeah. se pudiera ocupar siempre el mismo nombre de él. Eh, por lo general, en las respuestas cortas no mm. se utilizan no. nombres. Ok. Ajá, sino que la respuesta corta, por eso se llama de esa manera, porque se trata de abreviar lo más posible. Entonces, la forma más corta es usar el pronombre. Ok. Thank you. Uh, en el complemento, veo que está el an apartment. Siempre se escribe eh, el an seguido de, de la siguiente palabra que comienza con, con vocal, ¿verdad? En este caso, la a. An apartment. An apartment. Yes, mm -hmm. eso creo que lo vieron en, en, el, en el módulo anterior. Eh, si, mi, si mi palabra 
Bueno, primero, solo lo vamos a utilizar en singular. Solo aplica mm -hmm. para cuando hablamos de cosas en singular. So, a house, a yard, an apartment, que mm -hmm. significa uno. Y si mi, pala si mi palabra empieza con consonante, ok, entonces yo voy a utilizar a. Pero si mi palabra empieza con vowel, yo voy a utilizar an. An apartment. An apple. An elephant. Pero si empieza con vowel, con consonante, okay, vamos a utilizar a. Y una de las diferencias con el inglés es que en español de age es muda, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que nos han enseñado. But in English, it has a sound. En inglés sí tiene un sonido que es parecido al de la J del español. ¿okay? Que sería, ¿ok? How. ¿Ok? Entonces, digamos que si, eh, si hay una H en español, nosotros sabríamos que, digamos, no se dice y entonces iniciaríamos como con una, una vocal. Pero como en inglés sí tiene sonido, cuenta como una consonante, ¿ok? Es a consonante. Y eso, eso sería eh, cuando vamos a utilizar a o an. And then we have an exercise. But questions? More questions? Okay, we we can complete this part. Okay. Select the option that completes the two blocks. Okay, para esta parte, you are going to tell me the complete question. Me va a decir la pregunta completa. Okay, ya con la respuesta, ¿verdad? Okay, vamos a iniciar con Linda. Number one. Do you live in a part apartment? In an apartment, okay. Do you live in an apartment? Okay, vamos a ver. Edwin, mm. number two. Um, no, yes. no, no, I, I don't. don't. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I don't. I live in a house. Okay, correct. No, I don't. I live in a house. Number three, the Maris. The Maris, number three. Do it have? Eh, do or segura? Then está el pronombre es it. And sería does. Does, it, does. y el have. verbo. Creería que have, nada más. Have. Ok. Does it have a yard? Como ya hicimos el cambio con el auxiliar, ya no vamos a hacer el cambio en el verbo. Ok. Next. Wilfredo. Hello. Next. Um. Yes. It. Uh, let's see. Okay. Yes. Sería. Um. Um. Does. Yes. It does. Yes. Correct. Yes. It does. Okay. Lydia. Next. 
That sounds nice. Do you live like alone? Repeat, please. That sounds nice. Do you live alone? Okay. Do you live alone? Do you live alone? Okay. Hey, Alexis, next. No, I don't. I live with my family. Excellent. Okay, Carla Lorena, next. Um, Ana Maribel. Cecilia? Yes, I do. I I have four sisters. Okay. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Me falta esta. Jacqueline? Do you have a teacher? That sounds nice. Do you have that sound nice? Do you have any brother or sister? Yes, correct. And next, Francesca. And Catherine, Chamara. Do so you really so have you how many random? A key in house? What sería? El auxiliar. Half. Mm, do or does? Do. House sería un objeto, sería it. Entonces vamos a usar does. Ajá. Does. Does your house have many bedrooms? Okay. Thank you. Christian, next. Yes, it does. It has four. Excellent. Jasmine. Uh, do you have your own bedroom? Yes, correct. Liliana? The microphone? Yes, I do. I'm really lucky. Excellent. Okay. Great, they are correct, excellent. Okay, so tomorrow we are going to continue with the two more exercises that we are left. I uh, know tomorrow, no, until Friday, <laughs> sorry. See you tomorrow Monday. no class. Yeah. Monday? No, Friday. We will have class on Friday, I think. No. Yes. Yes. yes, because tomorrow we will not have class. Como mañana no vamos a tener, se va a trasladar para el viernes. Para tener oh, siempre okay. las cuatro clases a la semana. Oh, okay. okay. Así que no se vayan de parrón. Bye. See you Friday. <laughs> okay. See you Friday. Una, bye, bye, teacher. Bye, bye, bye. Take care. Thank you.